What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me. Film two on this. Um, seems like we're going. That's coming very soon, man. Very soon. So, today we are going to be talking about... You already read the title. I don't even know why I even bother. To be perfectly honest. I got a new flavor to try today. Live on the show. But, uh... This was sent on to me from Colossal Clouds, man. Shout out to them, dude. Great shop. Excellent. And I mean excellent customer service. Doesn't get much better, man. And, you know, you're going to be hearing a lot about Colossal Clouds from me. I, I highly urge you to go and search them out, man. They're on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description so you can just go there and give them a like, man. Um, also, at the end of this, we're giving this away, man. <laughs> Love it, man. Love it. Hopefully I'm close enough. Because everybody complains about the volume of the mic. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We will be doing the Hobo version 3 as well. Uh, a lot of requests for that one. We got a lot to cover today. I got to quit dicking around. A lot to cover. Let's take it down. Let's do what we always do. Open up the box. Look at everything. Look at all the bits and pieces. We'll start from the top and work our way down. We're also going to rebuild it. I'm going to show you how to check the resistance of your atomizers with a multimeter. Um, yeah, we'll get into all that. We'll get into all that. Let's take it down, man. Here we go. Yeah, baby. Look how professional with the the mic cord. Wow, that's great. I know you guys all come here for the professionalness of this. <laughs> Alright, here's the package, obviously. Beyond Vape. They know what they're doing. Neptune. Okay, you can't vape the packaging. However, this is nice for shipping-wise. It gets to you safely. And also presentation. It's like food, you know? Um, presentation is just always nice. It just makes things a little... Feel a little more classy, you know? Um, pull that off. All right, package. You also have your serial number right here. Bingo. Put that on the side. And your package. You just pop off the top. Boom, you're greeted. I'm going to go ahead and get the box out of the way here. Giving this thing away. Somebody's going to be very lucky. Quality control. Check that out. Isn't that great? Validated by Tyler R. Tyler, you're doing a great job, man. Keep up the great work out there, dude. We appreciate what you do because a lot of people don't do this shit. You know what I mean? So, we appreciate you, man. And a warning. All right, while building atomizers, use extreme caution. Beyond Vape will not be liable for damages or personal injuries caused by your build. Very good card. Very good card. Hybrid mods. Um, there's no place to mess around, man. You, you need to measure these things, and you got to know how to do it. There's a vast amount of videos on how to do it out there, but we're going to do, uh, do it on here as well. Mm -hmm. Bag of tricks with some O-rings for the dripper. Mm -hmm. um, you're also going to get some different uh, drip tips. Check this out. So we got this one. It's kind of a smaller bore geared more towards flavor. And very sleek, very round, sleek. It's it's very nice. As well, as well as a wide bore. Same deal, just wide bore, dual O-ring, nice fit, nice and wide too. By the way, extra tube here. All right, and your mechanical top cap that's right this thing doubles as a mechanical mod which is super super nice okay um, this is where you'd use your own atomizers uh, silver plated all right contacts here threading all around really nice 
we'll just go ahead and just start right here. We're just going to go ahead and pull all this off. Nice, big, thick, chunky threads. Um, you know, so far, stand the test of time. This is my girlfriend's go-to mod. She loves this thing, and she's upset we're giving it away, man. There we go. Okay. Very nice work. I'm going to go ahead and just take off the autofocus. It was working for a minute. Very nice work. Shiny, shiny. Nice threading. Nice big, thick, chunky threading. Delrin's nice, nice touch. Should always be Delrin there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. Threw it threads right in. Um, and obviously this is kind of like, and I've always called this kind of the Chi Yu style, you know. Um, telescoping pin here to adjust for battery rattle, which is definitely always nice. Very big contacts, good for battery coverage. It really covers that, that contact quite well. Um, very cool. Very cool indeed. Go ahead and set this off to the side with the O-rings in the box. And we're going to keep the wide board drip tip. That's kind of the one I tend to go with. And we're going to pull out the mod. And obviously, you know, foam, packaging, really nice. Really nice. Set that up to the side. And here is the total device. Got a little juice in there. Man, I just cleaned this thing too. It's kind of like the life of a vapor though. There's juice everywhere. Like in places you'd never imagine. <laughs> All right. Let's set this package over here. So here it is, man. The Neptune version 2. Alright. Very cool. This is in 18650 mode right now, and that's where it pretty much lives. Um, on the bottom here, you got your switch, serial number, brass. You know, it's important. People say, you know, mechs are gone, and I disagree, man. I, li I like mechs. I always have. They're just. They're just great to use. I've just really enjoyed. I've always enjoyed using mech mods. I love the comfort factor of them, how small they are. Um. Box mods just took over for me, but they are. But these are by no means dead. This is a great device for me. I really enjoyed this. Let's start from the top, man. So hybrid, right? Let's pop off the top here. They went ahead with like the uh, three-piece design style. You know, the two-piece uh, barrel and drip top here, whatever you want to call it. This just a little top cap, and finned, which is gonna keep the heat down. Nice. You know, single or dual coil, nice big old chunked out airflow slots here for AFC. And it's conical on the inside. Cool. Set that off, pop off the top. Nice fit on the O rings. And as we spin it here, you got one very generous, generous airflow, which is great to see on this one. All black. Set that off right into the dripper section. Now, like I said, it just threads right onto your battery. Uh, it's really good for conductivity. Let's go ahead and pop this off. And it also shrinks the mod, which is nice. This is a pretty small mod. Now here's the base section, and we're just gonna go ahead and show this right away. Gold plated center post, uh, silver plated contact, and gold plated bottom pin. They're kind of gold plate everything, you know, really, these days. Pop that back in. Um, something really good to know about stuff like this, when you get like a hybrid device or whatnot, um, these are kind of set in there. You know, they're kind of set in stone, if you will. Clean that out. Clean that out really well. Right? I did that. Um, there was definitely some grime in there. Um, that's really going to improve the performance of the device. That's kind of the rule with any mechanical mod, man. Like, you got to keep them clean. It's just the way it is. You have to keep them clean. Um, the cleaner you keep them, the better they perform. You know, especially performance is, 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 a, is something that you really want to keep up, man. Keep them clean. Very generous well. Uh, not the deepest I've ever seen, but very well done. Nice work. The insulator has got me confused. It doesn't seem to be peak, but... Uh, I believe 
the description said it was. He. And I'm gonna double check that because I'm not gonna mess around. You know, definitely not gonna mess around. My 18? I would like to think so. Hold you guys, I just want you guys to get the right information. Okay. The one I'm looking at is stainless steel, but that's not it. Um, recess brass firing buttons with reverse threaded locking ring. Custom epoxy coated conductivity proof magnets. These keep the conductivity where it should be in the tube. Silver plated over brass contacts. Uh, adjustable top contacts, Cyclops style, adjustable airflow, removable drip tip with heat fins. It's not saying anything about peak, but I'm going to guarantee with all the other stuff they put in there that's a peak, but it just doesn't. It's, I'm just not used to that, you know? I, it just kind of looks. Either way, I've not, it's not melted on me and it's not even come close because I wouldn't build this that low in the first place, you know? Right. We're going to be building this for sure. Tube section here. Okay. For aluminum, very nice threading. Very nice threading. I have found, though, with this device in use out and about that this section right here likes to come loose a lot. All right. It really, really likes to come loose. Um, the tubing itself is fairly thin. I feel like if you were to drop this on concrete, it would definitely dent. Um, the battery fits in there pretty well. Um, there's definitely some looseness in there. That's that's good for swelling. Um, that I don't see a problem with that at all. Um, but this is definitely something to keep in mind. All right, show you the inside. As far as the threads go, they're you know top notch, man. They did a really good job on this. Really, really good job. Put that back together. And there's the logo on the bottom. Not good looking. One of the best looking logos I've ever seen. Gorgeous. Set that off to the side. Now down to the switch section. Let me grab a flathead here. Delrin protecting your battery all right, from touching any of this metal. If this Delrin wasn't there, you'd have some auto firing issues. Okay, so let's go ahead and just pull off this right now. Just like a little uh, silver plated slug. You know, it's just kind of a slug. Set that down. Pull that off. And on the inside, you have this right here. This little pin. See it right there? That little pin right there sits right here on this brass part of the switch right there. See that? Not great. I just cleaned this for you guys. Beyond Vape, kind of the power logo, I guess, if you will, and then the serial number. This one's number 750. The locking ring on this, um, you're going to hear that a lot with this mod. Um, it, it rattles a lot, it shakes, it shimmies, um, it doesn't want to stay locked. I mean, no matter how tight you get it, it just comes loose really easy. Um, no matter how tight you put it, it, you know. That could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing, depending on who you are. So it's something to keep in mind. Pop this back in. There we go. I pop it in, and then I kind of spin it until that pin falls into place where it should be. But this thing hits so hard, man. So hard. I've really enjoyed using this a lot. And the build I've been doing is very simple. Make sure that's nice and snug here. But you can see, just by the amount of throw there is on this, I mean, it's barely anything. I mean, it's, you know, and and where the button itself, so you can probably already hear that ring. There we go. There's almost, there's that gap there, you know, good ventilation. The, the air is going to escape this mod. Make no mistake about that. Plenty of ventilation here. Um, 
as you can see the gap from these but from the switch to the wall of the locking ring uh, really allows no there's no friction here it just boom 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 and it and you barely touch it. it's like fire 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 it's nice man so nice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this thing and it's gonna be pretty tough on cam and so I'm gonna try and do it the best I can here so bear with me on this like always salt and pepper mode salt and pepper mode pretty good right? yeah it's pretty good let's build it 24 gauge canthal Nichrome 80. We're gonna do seven wraps on an eighth bit. I was kind of wondering if I had my tools. Seven wraps, eighth bit. So I'm gonna cuff two generous pieces here. Always make sure that your canthal is labeled accordingly to what you're using. Make sure you can read what it says. If you can't, make like a little sticker for it or whatnot. You always want to know what you're using, you know? After a while, you obviously get the feel, but yeah. Let's see. Eighth bit. And I understand. I think we almost hit 10,000 subs. Are you guys kidding me right now? It's crazy. Micro coil, guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I saw that, man. That's just nuts. Never in a million years would I've ever thought that, you know? I'm a lucky guy. I really am. Okay, there's seven. Let me do seven more. This is the exact build I like in my Aeolus, by the way, which we will be doing very, very soon. We'll be doing that next, as a matter of fact. The Aeolus. So here I have it. I have seven wraps, eight bit. Let's install it. The eyelets on this are not the biggest, man. You're gonna, you're definitely going to um, be cramming tigers in here. You know, you're, a lot of continuous builds are gonna be happening with this device. So this is definitely something you want to keep simple, as simple as possible. At least that I found for me and my style of vaping, I really liked it just as simple as I could get it. Pop that in. And pop that in. As you can see, 24 fits in there just fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and eye it up because I'm going to be centering these. So I want to eye, eye up the space of the coils themselves before I go ahead and tighten them down. Let's see. This one actually leaves a good one here. I kind of got them where I want them. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the negatives first. And I know you can't see that, but I got my finger and I'm holding this coil from moving when I tighten down this negative. I'm just snugging it up just barely. Spin that. Push that out. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Probably can come in a little bit more. That's good. I think. Snug it up. That one might be a little close. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it, man. I'm gonna stick with it. Now we're gonna go to the center. I'm gonna take my time on the center here. I got my leads inside of the positive post laying right next to each other. As far as uh, spinning center posts go, I haven't had it yet. Um, so that makes me really, really happy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set, snug up the negatives one more time. Got my finger on that once again. Lift everything to the sky. Really wrap them leads around that screw. The screws in there. That's kind of what we're dealing with. Let's do a little chop here, man. Let's do a little choppy chop. Chop, chop. Keep a hold of it. You don't want your girlfriend stepping on this stuff, man. Doghouse. You'll be getting the doghouse for sure, dude. Okay. And that's what we got so far. That's what we got. 
So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm, 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 I'm pretty happy with the spacing on this. We'll see how it turns out. I'm going to go ahead and center them. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to insert. And I'm just going to give it a nice push towards the center. And a little lift. I want my coils a little high. Um, after I saw where the airflow comes in at, I want my airflow to come in from underneath the coil. Okay. good. I need to go up a little higher on this one. It's looking pretty even. Pretty even. And I'm happy with the spacing. Okay. You know, your coil's not touching the wall at all. That's great. It's not going to touch the top cap as well. You know, something to keep in mind, especially with something like how thick this is okay. this is gonna come in and take up space as well so a good trick is just to set that on there get as centered as you can and look down in there and see if we're gonna be touching and we are not gonna be touching we have plenty of room in there it's a good little tip to know because as white as this deck is you can't bring your coil all the way to the outside of this because this is as wide as the deck the deck lip so it's going to cover that space up so everything needs to be contained inside in, on the inside of this ring All right very cool man let's measure it so how do you measure it it's a hybrid device how do you measure it Trevor you want to take your multimeter okay Get my red and blacks here I have it on the ohm on the ohm, I'm gonna move this because I want you guys to know this. The ohm section, which is right here, there's a little ohm marker. See that? And it's on the lowest setting, the 200. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my red and my black. I'm gonna touch them to each other. Now it's gonna sit here and cycle through some numbers. One. 0 ohms. Keep that in mind, right? You want to keep whatever yours comes out to be. They're all different. Mine's 1.0 ohms. Okay, so I'm going to take my red, put it on my positive, my black, put it on my negative, and I'm going to look at the ohm meter. 0.2, all right, because it's saying 1.2 on my multimeter, so I need to minus 1 ohm. 0.2. It's fluctuating 0.2, 0.3-ish. I'm going to do it one more time to make sure. Yeah, about 0.3-ish. It's looking about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 here, guys. Alright. I'd like to do it twice. Now, let's say you just have a regular Addy, dude. Like, let's say like you got one of these. Right? I would do the same thing, I'd short it out, I got a minus an ohm, I want to put the red on the positive, on the pin, and right where the bottom meets with the deck, and it's going to tell you your resistance. And this one is sitting at, I'm trying to get it where you can see it, there we go, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, bit moving on me, 0.2. So that's that's the way you would do your just regular non-hybrid atomizers, okay? Very cool. Let's set it up, man. Let's set it up so we can get fire in this thing and getting it all lined up. So I have my switch on here already. Throw in the battery. Pull up the hybrid section, and I'm just gonna make my adjustments with this. That's what's nice about this. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure it one more time. No battery rattle, nice and easy. All right. Just like that. There we go. Grab whatever you like to use. I prefer ceramic tweezers. And I'm just going to pulse it. Soft pinch. Soft pinch. Yeah, 
That's not bad. Soft pinch. Soft pinch. It's not bad. And I want to measure it one more time. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to take that. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and take it completely off. Okay, I'm set this down here. I got my setting on. I remember my setting. I'm going to go ahead and let this cool down. And have a vape while I'm at it. You should too, man. Get back to auto here. Focus up, baby. Okay, again, lowest setting on the ohm section of your multimeter. I've maxed it out. Max it again just to make sure. You know, you gotta let it sit there for a minute. Let it run its cycle, and where it stops, that's where you do it. One ohm. So I'm put my red on the positive, black on the negative. I'm gonna minus the one. Again, there we go. Okay, red on the positive, the negative. Okay, so we're gonna minus the one ohm point two. That's where I'm sitting at, point 0.2. It's fluctuating through point 0.3. I'm going to say point 0.2 on that, guys. I'm going to say point 0.2 on that. And by doing that, by taking this little extra step, let me bring you back up, man. By doing that extra step, it's ensuring that you're safe with these things. Hybrid mods, man. Hybrid mods are no joke. Like, they're just no joke at all. Let's wick this thing, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, we're also going to get into... Um, we're also going to get into... Um, you know, talking about the switch. The switch is not only is it recessed, but it does have a locking ring, which is another double feature, which I really, really like. I got some Japanese cotton here, guys. You guys know it, love it. I like Muji. You can find it on Amazon. Let's see if I can find a link for it and put it in the description as well. And, you know, I'm going to cut plenty here. I'm going to cut plenty here. But, it's, it's just nice to have, you know, dual features of safety on there. Hybrid mods are, are no joke. You know, it's not a place to put a freaking Atlantis. Like... Oh. This one's nice though. I really like this one a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and I got some Muji here. You know, you guys know the deal when it comes to cotton. All I really did was I peeled off the outside layer like this. Very thin pieces. Okay, slide it through. Make a nice point. And I'm gonna thread it through, man. It's tough without the tender base. There we go. That's perfect. I'm really happy with that. It's snug, not too tight, not too loose, just snug. Spin that around. I like to cut a little notch in my Japanese cotton, man. Just helps that pointy section. You just want it to come through, snug up. Not giving up. Okay, so you got it. There we go. You know, it'll almost fall into place for you. And that one little tug back makes all the difference, man. So where am I gonna cut it? Just barely off the deck. Just barely off the deck there. I'm I literally just want to tuck this into the corners. That's it. I literally that's all I want to do. Let me get some of these tools out of my way. Get some of these tools out of my way here. Leave 
that one. Right. So, now all I'm literally going to do is I'm just going to gently tuck it in. That's it. I just want it in. And comb it under. Tuck it under. And push back. That's great. I haven't been able to comment on YouTube, man. Um, I've been trying to write my dude, uh, Robert the Armed Vapor. I'm trying to write him on the Crown video. He did an excellent, excellent showing on that. It's a great tank, guys. <laughs> I'm trying not to ever lead you guys wrong, you know? See, I'm assuming I mean, I just kind of comb it under. I comb it under, and then I literally push it back into the corner. Just like that. This side, you can just I just kind of probe it in from the bottom until it falls in. That's all you need. Clean it off the deck. I want everything on the inside. And it's pretty much there. This one's, I don't know, this one's kind of, kind of ratty. I'm happy with that. I can do a little more adjustments with it after I get some liquid on there. Speaking of liquid. Yeah, that recess is nice because you can just set it down. You don't have to lock it every time. Sweet Pea Smash. This is like craziness from Coil Vapes. I'm really excited to try this. Excellent child locking bottles here. So I'm gonna get some on here. What I like to do is put some on there. You know, don't don't be afraid. Then then pulse it. It'll pull the juice right into the coil. It's exactly what it does. Just to get it started. This is thick stuff, too. Yeah, it's working great. Mmm, that smells so good. I'm going to set that up to the side. We're going to go ahead and add our barrel now. Uh, you want the airflow hole facing upwards. And whenever I put on my barrels, I like to look from the top. So I'm going to do that now to make sure I'm completely directly lined up with those airflow holes and then I'm gonna come in through here as you can see now I got some weird cotton stuff going on now like little frillies I'm gonna pull those frillies completely off the coil I don't want those there I found that um, it doesn't take long before you start getting a burnt taste so I'm just gonna pull the cotton just slightly back like that. Um, also keeping clear of the lip on the deck. Remember we talked about that? Because this is going on next. Set it for dual coil. And when I go to put that on, like I just did, um, the thing is, is if it's not pulled into the deck lip, it's going to drag your cotton down which could pull your coils weird and knock off all the work you put into making them glow evenly. You know what I mean? And I'm going to add one more little droplet in there. Done. Drip tip goes on. This is their wide bore. And what I've noticed about the Neptune version 2 is that everything and I mean everything um, fits very snugly very snug that's good you know very very snug man ah, it's a good looking piece now and as I look in through the airflow holes I can see that the airflow is coming in from underneath the coil itself. Let's hit it man. Wow. 
Oh my god. Wow. That is delicious, man. That is so good. It's like a sweet... It's like a, a sweet potato that's been smashed with like... Un unreal. Unreal. Okay, so as you can see, the draw on it, fairly quiet draw. Um, pulling off the this top section here tends to lift the barrel up quite a bit. Be prepared for that. And I always take like a couple of drags when I first like when I first just kind of put I put just enough to sop the the cotton, and then I'll vape it a few times, and then I'll really drown it with cotton or drown it with juice. <laughs> Jesus. Man, that's a looker, isn't it? That is just a looker. I don't even know. Is that focusing? Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's not like a super grim video, man. Oh. If you're looking for a, a hybrid slash mechanical mod, which is great, you know, I showed you this part here. If you don't want to use it in hybrid mode, you just screw this on, throw on your favorite Addy, and go. And that's what we're about to do, man. We're about to adjust it. I'll throw on an Addy I got near me. Uh, my Hobo 3 is set up for a squonk, so we'll try the Addy Cube. It might look funny on there, though. That's what I got on me, man. And it hits so damn hard. That as far as the heat goes, it doesn't really get warm. The only warm I'm getting is from my hand. That's a good sign on a hybrid. Uh, you don't really want... you got to be careful with this stuff, man. Point 0.2 is the lowest I would dare go on this. Point 0.2, point 0.3 is where I would sit. Man. Um, the button is flawless. I mean, it is so teeny. It's like... I mean, it's barely anything, man. Barely, and it's... <sighs> powerful now the drip tip that comes with it gets hot very fast though it's a nice fit if you're somebody that chain vapes heavily um, you might not be using that so I always have my, I never have my mink too far from me and it just looks the part on there you know the button the button has never caught on me I've never had an issue where the button has caught and stayed um, like I said, the only real problem here is this locking ring. Uh, it comes loose very easily. Um, and when you go to tighten it up, it unscrews the whole switch. And it can be very troublesome. Uh, so keep that in mind, man. And when it is loose, you know. Um, and that middle tube tends to come loose quite a bit as well. How often? Maybe a little too often that I would like. Um, but to be honest with you, it's one of those devices, it's like one of those mechs that just sits there and you're constantly kind of grabbing. You know what I mean? And I'm a box mod guy, and that's saying a lot, dude. <laughs> that's saying a lot. With the vast amount of box mods out there, what mechs do you choose? Uh, I would, I would easily recommend this one a lot. I really would, a lot. Um, so, do you want to win it? I bet you do, dude. I bet you do. I'll even leave the build in it. I'll leave the build in it, man. I'll leave, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna leave the build in it for you. I'll re, I'll re -wick it, and it'll come to you, man. The way to win this is you need to be subscribed to the channel. You need to like Colossal Cloud's Facebook page. Dude, tell him thanks, man. Super nice of him. Super nice of him to give this away. This is very cool of him. Very cool. And uh, if you don't do Facebook, man, you got to comment down below. you got to comment hashtag Colossal Clouds. That's it. That's it, man. You know, when I did a Facebook one a while ago. I was like, you got to like this page or whatever. And a lot of people were like, I don't do Facebook, man. I don't do Facebook. 
just comment below okay so those are the rules good luck to each and every one of you guys if you have any questions whatsoever please feel free to comment down below if you want to be like more uh, you know private about it dude give me an email tjvapingreviews at aol.com man let's end this I wish we could just hang out forever though we could do some like crazy fun times you know some crazy craziness <laughs> sweet pea smash unreal that's an unreal liquid I should have known Dean you are a master my friend let's end this in classic form dude classic <laughs> mm. Blessings, guys. Be good to one another, man. We'll see you at the next one. <laughs>